How y'all doing today? Good. Good. How is this? Uh, how you like your new team? I love it. I love it here in Cali. It's a great, great every day. It's a grind like everywhere else, though. Is this uh, is it similar like vibe or culture to what you experienced with the Colts? Uh, it's, it's slightly different, you know. Uh, like the. Like the culture inside the building and everything else is kind of less aggressive than it is with the coach. But, you know, if any, like my coach, great coach, if any, do anything wrong, he's going to go over and over and over again until you get it right. That's how everywhere else it is, too. Oh, yeah. You're obviously known in all pro specialties, but that's thing. A lot of guys are like, this is what I do, and uh, this is how I'm going to you know, stay around in the NFL. But some guys are like, this is not who I am. I want to be, in your case, the starting safety or whatever. Where are you in your career? Your identity and your, your role? Well, right now, uh, I try to label myself as like all pro geo. You know, that's what some people call me, all pro geo. I got that on my like, game and everything else. I feel like I could be a pro at anything I've set my mind to. Like, as long as I got my mind right, I could do anything I want to. So just like special teams that year, I, I got uh, all pro on special teams. I only took 25 reps on defense, but I had like 25, 26 tackles on special teams. And that takes a lot of effort. So wherever you put your effort to, I feel like that's where I'm gonna be successful at. I mean, coming to a new team with a new quarterback, just what is your feel of the vibe of the chemistry of the team under a new offense? And a lot of things are new for the team this season. I'll tell you, I had five new quarterbacks. <laughs> I had fruit. Every year we had a new quarterback. I had Jacoby Brissett, Andrew Luck, Phillip Rivers. <laughs> so it's like last year was kind of different. You know, man, with Carson, he was like kind of an acquired guy. But this year, Trey Lance, like you could tell, like, he has the confidence. I'm not saying Carson didn't have the confidence, but he's like not a vocal person. He's an action person. But Trey, like he's more vocal. He's aggressive. That's what the team like about him. About excelling at whatever you put your focus on. What are you, what is your focus on this year? Wherever the team needs me, honestly. Like I can't just force myself into a role that the team don't allow me to be in. You know, if I'm gonna be all pro safety, then that's what I got to focus on a lot. But then. I still got to put in for special teams too, because it's all it's all around developing the team. So if I'm if I'm the best special team player on the team, and I'm not actually helping people on special teams, what's the point? You know. You guys haven't. Uh, you guys, the, the 49ers haven't returned a, a punt for a touchdown since the 11th season. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of that, yeah, but is season? I mean, their 11th season. Their 11th season yeah. Oh man. They put me back there, there. <laughs> I just wonder whether that's been discussed. I mean, I know that uh, you and Ray Ray are, um, you know, uh, two of the, the better people at your positions in the league, whether that's sort of a goal to sort of break that, that drought. Uh, today we was working on being super aggressive in the vice, you know. That's one play. That's one area we got to take away the Gunners first before anything, before we can talk about house calling, because the Gunners are the most important players then from the inside out. You know, we got Burks, we got linebackers in there now. We got, look, we, we got a game plan coming up this year, so it should be better this year with the guys we got in the room. Who's the other jammer besides you? Uh, I wasn't even a jammer. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you all that, but, you know, D Moore, we, we got AT, we got a lot of players that's going to be back there. Kings just came out and you kicked off the list at number 100. Jimmy Ward was a few spots ahead of you. What do you think of that number 100? Uh, thoughts on it? Yeah, a um, couple things. I mean, it, it's an honor it, just to be on the list. So um, I'm happy I made it again. And um, I think <laughs> I also caught a little bit of karma last year when I was number 97. Um, right away, I text my buddy Dennis Pitta because he was number 100 back in 2012. And I was just giving him a hard time that he couldn't even break the triple digits. And uh, of course, that's what I got this year. <laughs> but uh, again, I'm just happy to be on the list. It's awesome to have that recognition from the players. I think, honestly, that's one of the biggest recognitions I can get. 
Um, unfortunately, we did away with all pro status for fullbacks uh, a while ago. So I'm kind of that's off the table for me. So to uh, get that recognition there uh, really, truly means a lot. And I was also so happy for Jimmy Ward because um, I think he's deserved that for a while. Uh, everyone here knows what a player he is. And um, to get that recognition from other players around the league, um, honestly, I was I was if I felt even happier for Jimmy. It seems like he's really important in the locker room, you know, much, much less, uh, you know, on, on the field. But, um, you know, how, how does he work with new guys who come in and you know, young players, things like that? Yeah, Jimmy's a, uh, a huge locker room guy and someone that I think we lean on uh, to help younger guys. If I'm not mistaken, isn't I think Trey Lance's uh, locker is right next to Jimmy. Um, I don't think that was by accident. Uh, he's he he may seem um, quiet at times, but believe me, he um, he's a leader and he's one that talks a lot. Um, you know, kind of behind the scenes, and he's a guy. He's kind of a linchpin of uh, of our defense that um, gives us a lot of variety in the things that we can do when he's out there. Seem like Debo had a very prominent practice. Do you kind of feel him starting to heat up and, and hit his stride out there? Yeah, I think um, anytime when someone gets a little bit of a late start, uh, it, it may take a few practices for him to really turn it on. And even though I thought the first day he was here, um, he brings a different energy to the field. Um, but I've been, you know, I think he's looked good uh, recently by no surprise. And I think he's going to be, again, a really big part of this offense. What do you look to get out of joint practices? I think it's just nice to hit a different team and to get a different look. Um, I'm, we're just, you know, it's to that point in camp that you're so used to getting the same looks from your defense. Um, and it's, it's just nice because that's not going to be the case the whole season. So to be able to go against a different team, get a, a foreign look, uh, I think that prepares you more for the season because every week you're going to get something different. Kyle, you, uh, you caught a pass in practice today. And I mean, you've probably only had about maybe eight thrown to you all camp. It hasn't been a lot. Right, it hasn't been a lot. So, I mean, so, but you've caught almost every single one except I think one that got picked off. So, I mean, what does, I mean, what does that do for you just to kind of get you ready for the season knowing that, I mean, there's times in games where you might get a lot of action or you might not get any. Yeah, um, obviously, I, I'm, any any opportunity I can get to catch the ball, I'm, I'm excited for it. I really am. And uh, that, that was awesome to get that opportunity. But quite honestly, um, at this point in my career, I've, I've gotten used to not getting a ton of looks during the, during the week, during training camp, um, and still being expected to make that play in games. Uh, I, I think that's a strength of mine. And I think that's something um, that I've been able to do uh, in my 10-year career now. And so um, I, I relish those opportunities. But I also, believe me, I'm getting that work out, you know, outside of team reps, and uh, I'm going to be ready for it when Trey looks my way. Speaking of Trey, to us, he's um, kind of transformed in when he talks to us at the, at the podium. We see a lot more of his personality. He's actually pretty funny. And you know, last year, he was pretty buttoned up, and probably for some obvious reasons. Is that the same behind the scenes, or has he kind of always been shown the same kind of personality to you guys? Yeah. Um... You know what, I feel like we, we, we saw a lot of personality, maybe not as much as, or not, we probably saw it more than you guys may have, um, but you do see more of that, that free nature, that free spirit of him um, being able to be a little bit more loose, a little bit more of himself, and uh, I think that helps on and off the field. I think it, it helps uncloud your mind when you're not worried too much about, you know, what I'm saying, what I'm doing, um, and that helps on the field, and just being able to play like he plays, just to be Trey Lance and make quick decisions and um, you know, be confident in the decisions he makes. So I, I think that's helped a lot. Is it a tough day for you when a fullback, a fellow fullback gets waved? Yeah, I, I mean, I hate to see it, especially Josh. Um, you know, I told him before he left that he can play in this league 100%. He, he can play fullback in this league. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that he gets that opportunity. And he's done so much for us. Um, these past, you know, this is his third. This was his third year here. He's taken a lot off of my plate. He's been a tremendous locker room guy. Um, I mean, everyone in the locker room was so surprised to see him go. Uh, so that you know, that that hurts on that end. And um, I'm always pushing for more fullbacks to have jobs. Uh, but I I think that there's still a future for Josh Hokett. I really do, um, and I, I'm hopeful for him. You mentioned ten seasons playing 
your position, it's not easy. What do you do differently as far as training or, or managing your body? Really, that's a, I could give you a long, long answer there. Uh, I really can. And um, it depends where you want to go, what, where you want to approach it, whether it's, uh, I really do take a lot of pride in how I treat my body and the nutrition um, and the way I train. And I also, um, I changed the, my style of play probably five years ago. Um, I, th I think probably after my first year here. I really, I feel like I play the, the position differently than most guys in the league. I'm, I'm, I don't, you know, rest my hat on just being a sledgehammer and trying to move people um, with just brute force. I really do try to use angles, leverage, my mind, my eyes, all those kind of things to my advantage. And I think that's, that's helped take a lot of um, wear and tear off my body.